Good morning. It is the 8th of April. It's Monday, the 8th of April, 2019. Thank you for joining us today. The police force is working on guaranteeing safety in the inner city. EBS continues street lightning projects. Road Health Day commemorated. And also the wildfire in Nikeri Swamp causes breeding problems for the locals. The Surinamese police force is working hard to guarantee the safety downtown Paramaribo, says Chief Inspector Lloyd Tolut. Tolut emphasizes that this is the job of the police to protect the civilians. Last Friday, for the unpeded time, the police force performed an operation downtown. This operation paid off after the police found a quantity of drugs at a certain location. The items that have been seized are foreign currency and also buckets with marijuana. The police are still busy investigating, says Deputy Inspector Humphrey Filgelanzo. The power company EBS is steadily continue, continuing the, with the nationwide street lightning project. So says the Minister of Natural Resources, Regilio Dotson. It concerns replacing the old street lamps with modern LED lamps. And street or areas that were unforeseeable with street lamps are now addressed. In total, around 7,000 street lights were switched on. Despite this number, new requests for street lights are submitted every day, according to Minister Dotson. With this national project, the government wants to complete the previous application list. Working together to reduce our sugar, salt, and fat consumption to fight against chronic diseases. This was the theme of World Health Day, which was commemorated yesterday. This day has been proclaimed by the World Health Organization, the WHO, and it is, it is important that everyone watches his or her diet. This extends the life years in a healthy way. Healthy food is the key for healthy organs within the body. Too much sugar, salt, and fat can cause your health to deteriorate. By exercising a lot and eating healthy, we can find a perfect balance within our eating pattern diet, says, the, says Robert Mohamed, the Deputy Director at the Ministry of Health. Surinamese should pay more attention to the amounts of sugar, salt, and fat they consume daily. The awareness of a healthy lifestyle must be promoted better among children and because a healthy society is a productive society. And in our last item, some of, some of the residents of Wageningen went to the Petronella Hospital with respiratory problems. After being treated by the doctors, they were allowed to go home. The problem is likely caused by the huge smoke development that occurred above Wageningen on Friday. In a telephone interview, DC of Nikeri, Nisha Kurban Babu, reported that a fire broke out in a swamp area that is very popular with hunters and fishermen. Since it is a swamp area, this is a challenge for the fire brigade, according to the district commissioner. Kurban orientated Wageningen herself and also visited the hospital. With drone images, the NCCR and the fire department had a better f overview of the fire. Kerbin indicated that Stats Oli made a swamp excavator available through the intervention of NCCR. The situation is not yet alarming in the sense that the local residents should be evacuated. According to the DC, there are no cases where patients are kept in the hospital. If the, if the situation gets worse, other measures will be taken. That is all for the local news for today. Have a wonderful and pleasant day until tomorrow. Bye-bye.